What do you think's up with this transfer to a new brigade? It's a far cry from the SI. And we'll be working under stock. It seems the people officially in charge did some reshuffling of personnel. It came down from the army, so I'd guess General Hugo or Lieutenant General Raoul was involved. Probably right. Heiss would have said something. Seems like a crazy way to do things, doesn't it? Who can say? They decide, we obey. I feel sorry for Heiss, but we should do our best in our new brigade. Yeah. Whatever department we're in, we're still working to protect Alistair. Oh, that reminds me. Our new captain, Rosh, was it? He's a friend of yours, isn't he, Stock? Yes. This was some time ago, but back when I was in the army, we fought side by side. An old friend of yours, eh? <laughs> I wonder what he's like. Oh, Captain! Huh? Hey, you're the guy Stock was talking to the other day. Oh, you're the new captain, huh? The nerve of you, speaking to your captain like that! Ah, it's okay. I'm not really one for formalities anyway. Captain, you have to set a good example for the Brigade! Come on, let's discuss the mission. I may as well say, we've already got marching orders. Our destination is the Alma Mine in the Western Mountains. A mine? Located west of Lasville Hills. It's a strategic location that passes through the mountain into Grand Orb territory. And it seems it's been invaded. Our mission is to drive Granorg out of the mine. Hmm. Granorg's side should have been sealed. It used to be. But apparently they blew open the seal and forced their way in. That's rather reckless setting off explosives at an old mine. Why would they do such a thing? Because of the Sand Fortress. You've heard that Alistair took it back recently? If Granorg wants to attack us, they have to capture the Sand Fortress first. But that's easier said than done. It's well fortified and takes a lot of planning and effort. So they're eyeing the Alma Mine as an alternate route, one that gets around the Sand Fortress. I see. By the way, who's that with you? Oh, right. You already heard that my brigade is composed of new cadets. He's sort of the leader of the Fresh Faces. My name's Keel, sir. I've heard a lot about you from Captain Rush. Mm -hmm. He's always wanted to be in the army. He visited all the time just to watch us train. I eventually got to know him, so I told him about you. I'm great at fencing! Well, uh, sword dancing, technically. But the captain told me he knew someone who was much better with a sword. Me, I assume. <laughs> yes, sir! I'll train hard to someday be as good as you, Sergeant! Stuck? How's it feel to be someone's role model? You're not as shady a guy as you think. If you say so, sure. Good to meet you, Keel. The honor's all mine. If the chance comes up, I'd like to see these sword skills of yours. Particularly the sword dancing you mentioned. Sir, I'd be honored to, Sergeant! Also, the Sergeant is a bit much. Just call me Stock. But that wouldn't be proper. I, 
Now I have to call you Sergeant, Sergeant. <laughs> Looks like the introductions went great. See, I was right to make you my adjutant. Thing is, I'm sorry to put this on you, but I need you to be the vanguard of this brigade. None of these new soldiers have any combat experience. I need trained men in the vanguard. So that's why Mark and I were reassigned here. I see your point. It's the best way to keep casualties to a minimum. I'll join in as well anytime you need my help. Just say the word. The squad led by Keel will be directly behind us providing support. Not just for that, though. I also want to give them a chance to see you guys in action. I'll try real hard not to be a burden. All right, let's get going. Oh, and about our equipment. Uh, the army didn't give us any. We got this instead. You know and I know it's not much, but let's keep that to ourselves. Stop by the weapon shop and use your judgment on what we'll need. Anyway, let's get going. country in the desert. Officially it's neutral, but they've lent many soldiers to both Alistel and Granorg. That's correct. Yes. Um very much. I'll be counting on you. Yes? Mm-hmm.
Thank you. 
lit up. was pretty useful, right? Okay, let's push onward. We did it.
All the choices I can ask for. See if you like something. All the choices I can ask for. was pretty useful, right? Like hell I'm gonna lose. Let's continue onward. Yes. Come on.
this silly little mark. That's all right, but who are you? Yes. All right, that should be helpful. How's it looking? Let's see. Selvan. He's the brain supporting Diaz from the shadows, isn't he? <sighs> this is more complicated than I thought. We absolutely can't fail this mission, or we'll be in deep trouble. Indeed. What do you mean? Let's see. gets their footing, but we can't even get inside. Seriously. Not only that, but Selvan's troops are on the move. We should go see what shape the entrance is in. Damn, it's sealed shut. Excuse me. I heard the gist of it from the agent. But more importantly, has a scout been sent out yet? Um... That's not good. Even if we sent someone out now, and he did manage to acquire explosives, it'd be dusk. But without those explosives, we're pretty much sitting ducks. Captain Rush, don't we have the thaw machines with us? I could move the rock single-handedly with those things. Do you really think they'd keep such expensive weaponry in a hole like this? Of course not. I, um, just wanted to ride a thaw machine. Just once in my life. Well, if you're interested, they're produced in Alistair's lab by an engineer named Fennel. Regardless, we have to focus on our current problem. Even my gauntlet is useless here. If we can't go any further, why don't we just ambush them here? If their goal is to get inside Alistair territory, they'll have to come through here anyway. Generally speaking, an ambush would give us the upper hand. Stock, what do you think?
Let's ambush them. We can't spare a single soldier to be out on a wild goose chase. And taking the lack of training that soldiers like Kiel have into account, it's a good plan. You're right. An ambush would be an efficient way to make sure we're ready for Salvan's troops. Okay, Kiel, you heard the man? Gear up the brigade. Right away, Captain. Turned stock. Ambushing the enemy was a good idea, but your timing wasn't so good. You ended up getting attacked from two sides. It's not impossible to take back the Sand Fortress, however, the world will turn to sand by the time you can accomplish it. You're going to have to go back in time to reverse this mistake. Stock. You must use Historia. Shall we record the actions you've taken so far, just in case? would be too time-consuming. Perhaps we should... Well, Stock, it looks like you're between a rock and a hard place. You two? That means... We have something to tell you. We feel the presence of the Chronicle, one who wields the same power as you. What do you mean? Are you telling me there's another Chronicle? That's right. There is. It's called the Black Chronicle. Then someone else out there is wielding it just like I do. 
Indeed. And its owner is throwing this history into disarray. What? How is that possible? The Black Chronicle grants the same special power, and it's being used to cause harm to you. But why? What's the angle? We don't really know. You mean to tell me that even the residents of Historia are blind to something? It's not as though we're omniscient. We can't see into the hearts of the wielders of the Chronicles. I see. Well, let's take a step back here. Our mission is at a standstill because the explosives were never delivered. And you're telling me that this is all the doing of whoever wields the Black Chronicle. Correct. The merchant was killed by the owner of the other Chronicle. And in doing so, history has been misaligned. What can I do then? Should I go back in time? Well, yes and no. To be precise, you would need to go back in time to the other history. Because sometimes, even going back in time isn't enough to solve the problem. And when that's the case, you can resort to going back to the other history's timeline. The two histories are bound to the same world. The hearts and minds of its people are shared. Thus, the actions we take in one time reverberate in the other. Take the merchant, for example. He was killed in the other history, and now his death is affecting this one. So what you're saying is, if I save him in the other history, He'll be alive in this one. And that would mean the explosives will get delivered. Am I on the right track here? Correct. You've just spoken to the field agent. After that, he went somewhere else. This action must be affecting the other history. You should search for incidents in the other history that may be linked to this situation. Especially if you are scheduled to meet him. You have to pay close attention to detail. All right. I'll give it a shot. You're sure to find yourself in similar situations from here on out. The past and the present. Two timelines. You will pass between them as necessary. In order to guide history in the right direction. I have a feeling that will keep me busy. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll manage. Well, until we meet again. Sergeant Stock? Sir? Hey, what are you mumbling about? Uh, it's nothing. Don't mind me. Well, if you were figuring out a way to get a hold of those explosives, keep going. Just try not to scare my men when you do it. So, got any ideas? No, not yet. something.
better not leave right now. What do you make of that soldier? He wore an Alistair uniform. Oh, don't interrupt. Indeed. My apologies. 